I don't know if you ever find things in the Bible to be confusing. I know I do, and I believe that if anyone says that they are never confused by the Bible, they are probably lying. I was recently having a conversation with someone about the first chapter of the book of John. Well, first of all, the Bible is written by, this book is written by the, the Apostle John, by Jesus' disciple John. But as you're reading through it, in verse 5, it says, There came a man sent from God whose name was John. Well, that John isn't the John who wrote this. That's referring to someone else. And then as you get further down in the chapter, it says, This is the testimony of John when the Jews sent him priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? Well, is that John, the John who wrote this book? Or is that John, the John who is being talked about in verse 5? And then later on, it talks about Simon and Andrew being the sons of John. Well, is that the first John, the second John, the John who wrote the book? Who are all of these people? And what I really appreciate about my friend is that when she has questions, she doesn't just go, this is confusing, forget it. She asks, she researches, she has a study Bible. She looks at the notes. She'll text a friend and ask them, can you help me understand this? Well, in this book, the disciple John wrote the book. The John talked about in verse five and verse 19 is John the Baptist and Andrew and Simon's father happened to be named John. He's a different John altogether. But really my point is not about which John is which. My point is that we need to do more often than just read through a chapter. We need to think about what does this mean? Who is this talking about? What is the context that I need to know in order to better understand? We want you to read your Bible, but sometimes we need to do more than just reading. We need to pursue. In 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15, it says, Be diligent to present yourselves approved to God as a workman who does not need to be ashamed, accurately handling the word of truth. Be diligent. Diligent requires some effort. Other versions translate this verse as study to show yourself approved. Again, study requires effort. God has given us his word. It's a wonderful gift. It is, a, it is a, a help for our lives. It enables us to know him and his redemptive plan for all humanity. But just skimming it isn't going to give you a good picture of who God really is and what his plan is. We need to be willing to ask questions. We need to be willing to study. We need to be willing to put in some effort. And so I would encourage you today as you pick up your Bible and take some time to read. Don't just skim through so that you can check off a box on your Bible reading plan, but read with, in, with intention. Read and write down questions and then find somebody who can help you get the answers so that you can truly experience the gift that God has given us in his word.